Hey there gang, Patrick King here, coming to you live from Seymour, Wisconsin. I've been teaching the last few days here at Circle E Equestrian Stables in Seymour, and I'm going to be teaching the rest of the weekend here as well. Today's question comes to us from Beth, and Beth writes in, My two-year-old filly is largely very good and respectful as I work around her and walk her around the barn, except when she's hot and sweaty. I can usually avoid the situation by not going in her stall or bringing her in until she's quiet and settled, but sometimes I just need to. I was trying to remove her halter after her being riled up in the turnout, and she would have liked to rub herself dry all over me if I had let her, which I did not. That's a good thing. Any ideas? So this is pretty common with a lot of horses, and with Beth's horse being pretty young, uh, basically what we're talking about here is a self-control issue in a young horse. Now, if not taken care of, this can become a self-control issue in an older, more advanced horse. And then they're kind of like obnoxious kids that never learn self-control, that turn into obnoxious adults that are just not productive members of society when they're having those momentary lacks of self-control. So what we really want to think about with our horses is when they're in a situation where their mind is just rattled and they can't think about anything but rubbing, it's not a situation to really just proceed with what we're doing. That's a spot where they need to, uh, they need to move their feet, basically. The horse needs to learn that when they stop and stand or when they're quiet and respectful that we'll uh, kind of proceed with what we're doing, but we're going to be prepared and that in the very moment that they consider the rubbing against us or they really get anxious, and a lot of horses will do that first. They'll, you'll see them, they'll kind of get itchy, they'll get wiggly, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and this is the season where, you know, we've got sweat, we've got the heat, we've got flies, we've got, you know, all sorts of irritation uh, that, that just drives some of our horses bonkers, right? But uh, what we need to do, we need to be acutely aware of those moments when that's coming up, and we need to get their feet moving. We need to get them working around us, get, getting control of the feet. If we can get the control of the feet in those situations, we can get the mind focused back on what... Uh, we need the horse to do in that moment, whether it's just leading around the barn, whether it's standing in the stall, whether it's allowing us in the paddock to take off uh, the halter so that we can turn them out, things like that. Whatever it is, we've got to keep in mind, if we can control the feet, we can reaccess or tap back into the horse's mind. And, you know, it's going to be a tough spot there. Uh, some of our horses uh, are going to struggle with that more than others because, again, that's a self-control issue. So it's about the horse learning to kind of grow up and learning that the rider, the handler, needs to be more important in that moment than a few flies or, you know, the sweat or the irritation uh, in that moment. And, I mean, you know, if, if we really think about it, it's a great kind of a situation for preparing your horse for some things that are going to come up in the future. It's irritation. It's distraction, right? When you go to a horse show the first time, that's irritation. That's distraction, potentially, okay? So even a simple daily situation like that, you can use that as a great way to prepare your horse for self-control in future situations, okay? So I hope that that's helpful. If this has been helpful for you, please like, comment the video. Uh, if you have a friend that might need this advice or maybe this would be helpful to them, please feel free to share that with them. Tag them in the comment section below uh, this video as well. I'd really appreciate that. So question of the day for today. Let's see. I should really come up with these before I start shooting these videos. That would make them roll a little smoother. Um, question of the day for today. Um, what does your horse tend to lack a little self-control in certain situations? Um, that, was, that was really poorly worded. Over which situations does your current horse presently seem to lack a little bit of self-control? Mm -hmm. That's a better answer, I think. So, give me or a better question. Give me the uh, answers to that in the comment section below this video. Don't forget, gang, please, please, please keep submitting your questions. Send them in to us here in the comment section below. Send them to us directly in a message on Facebook, email, phone call, 
however you want to reach us with your questions for these videos. Uh, it's your questions that fuel these videos, and I really do appreciate them. So you keep asking questions. I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks, gang.